This is Jensen, a 42 foot traditional style narrowboat built here on this very site in 1989. She's in lovely condition, the paintwork needs a little bit of attention, but overall she's in fabulous condition. Inside she's absolutely charming. Stowhill built such beautiful boats, uh, you'll see as we go through. Lovely fit out, lovely personality. She's been in the same owner's hand since she was built. She's been well looked after. She was last blacked in August 2017. She was serviced in August 2017 at the same time. But she's hardly been used since, to be honest. She has been run, but not taken out for cruising. And the anodes were new in 2017 as well. Lovely bows. Fairly typical of the Stowe Hill boats. The gas lock is in the front there. Water tank is under these, this deck and there's storage seats either side. Four feet long this well deck. Lovely doors and in we go. Beautiful woodwork. Sapili with oak trim. Carpets to the floor. Feels so cosy in here. Lovely L-shaped sofa. This turns into a double berth. And beautiful woodwork to the ceilings as well. Storage underneath. I'll just show you a couple of the cupboards. There's an umbrella in there. There's a television aerial point at the top of this cupboard here. Storage in the steps. And behind the steps as well, half of the well deck is storage. There's a solid multi-fuel stove there. That's a baby Gabriel. The drop leaf dining table. Portholes throughout. There's 11 of those. There are a foot wide and there's a view back into the saloon. Such a cosy feel. Into the galley, horseshoe arrangement, there's a Houdini hatch over and a side hatch on the starboard side, so it's nice and light and airy. Plenty of storage in here, there's a cupboard up there, shelf underneath it and a large cupboard against the bathroom bulkhead here. Vanette, four burner gas hob, squeaky clean oven and grill. A sink with a separate draining board next to it, the storage underneath. I didn't mention or point out in between this galley and the L-shaped sofa, there's actually quite a cleverly designed cupboard. There's the fridge, that's a three-way fridge, gas, electric or 12 volt. And down the corridor on the starboard side we go. The bathroom is next. In we go. There's a sink set over the counter here. The loo is a pump out, a traveller, and there's the hot water system. That's an instant hot water gas boiler. And the shower is a curtained cubicle. And just tucked cleverly behind the door here is a floor ceiling wardrobe. So the gas boiler, you just turn on the taps and hot water appears. That's the idea. Into the bedroom, six foot two long by four feet wide, this bed, storage underneath, three drawers, there's a pigeon box over, and a cupboard over. I didn't mention head height on the on the boat, it's six feet two. The saloon was eight foot six long, the galley six foot eight, the bathroom was five feet, and the bedroom seven feet ten. The foot of the bed here, there's a Decent sized shelving cupboard. The door next to it's a full stall because just behind here, on the bedroom door, there's a floor to ceiling wardrobe, another one of those with a full length dressing mirror. Quite a clever use of space. Lovely room. The old boat's got such a warm feeling to it, I think. And the engine room is at the back, four feet wide. The engine is under there, that's a Vetus Marine. Very easily accessible. There's the inverter, 1.8 kilowatts. That pumps electricity through the boat. The boat does have a landline. And there's the view from the helmsman's position. 
I have to say, for a 42-foot boat, she has so much more room than you'd expect. Lots of storage you can sleep for comfortably. Some boats are like that. They just feel larger and longer than they should. She's ready to go. She comes with all the necessary navigation equipment. And when she does go, it'll feel like she's leaving home, to be honest. Built in the shed just behind our office. There we go. That is Jensen. For further photographs, a downloadable brochure and a spec and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.